grow, then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Welcome back to Thai Kicks for another video, and this time round we've got the off-white Air Max 90 in the black colorway. Yes, this came as part of a two colorway pack with the black and the desert ore colorway, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on a pair of these, which is pretty amazing. I'm really happy to have a pair of these in my collection, and I'm sure that you guys are really excited to see what this is all about. Nike's collaboration with Off-White is coming to an end with these two last colorways, and I'm really lucky enough to get hold of a pair of these to give you the lowdown review and fitting of this shoe. Before we get into that, don't forget to like the channel and subscribe to Thai Kicks. If you want more information about when new videos drop, don't forget to hit the bell next to that subscribe button. Also, get your entries in for the Hex Brand Sneaker Duffel Giveaway. Yes, you can be in with a chance to win an amazing sneaker duffel just like this, and all you've got to do is enter from the link down in the description below. Entries are only available to people who live within the UK and EU. So let's get into this review. So yeah, I managed to get hold of the black colorway of these off-white Air Max 90s, and um, as per the original pair, there are a lot of elements that Virgil has sort of torn apart and left a little bit unfinished. And uh, yet we've got some interesting different types of materials on the shoe. So let's go through the upper. The upper on this shoe comprises of a mesh type material around the toe box and that kind of makes its way through into the side panels and onto the inside and outside of the shoe's heel portion. It also runs around the sock liner area. Then just below that area, just below the mesh, you've got this really kind of sort of silky, almost sort of like faux leather kind of effect, but it's really smooth. It's kind of like plasticky, but it's something that actually is quite nice to the touch. And then just below that, with some really exaggerated black stitching, you've got this really nice suede that runs from the mid part of the toe box along the side, all the way around the back, all the way around to the other side, just in line with the mid part of the toe box. The Nike swoosh has been sewn onto the side of the shoe, both on the outside and the inside of the mid region. And you've also got, as you would expect, the off-white branding stamped into the side. And then we've got the off-white orange tag. The back heel area has got some stability in what feels a little bit like almost fiberglass kind of heel cup. Then underneath a little pull tab area that's made out of suede and foam, you've also got some lettering and numbers in white. The shoelaces have the typical shoelaces in speech marks on the ends of them, and it also comes with a secondary pair of laces in white with the orange wording of shoelaces in those speech marks as well. You've got this really distinct color of orange stitching on the tongue. You've also got the Nike branding on the side of this foam unfinished tongue with an orange swoosh. Insoles on these are just traditional Air Max insoles that have the words the 10 with the off-white branding. The sole is pretty much a typical Air Max 90 sole with its air bubble showing both inside and outside of the midsole. It also has on the left size shoe the token off-white zip tie in the baby blue colorway and as it says always on it when it's a Nike off-white it says off-white CO or collaboration with Nike circa 2017 zip tie. The box is very similar to what you get with quite a lot of the Nike off-whites where it's been inverted from its original style box. This one being the traditional red Nike embrazened box, but turned inside out with the off-white branding on the side. And you've also got the Nike swoosh in speech marks on the lid. I managed to get myself a pair of UK 9s and they fit true to size. I am averaging a UK 9 in Nikes most of the time, so I definitely sort of think that true to size is the way I would go. If you do have wide feet, then maybe go half size up. My overall vibes about this particular shoe is that I'm not really mad into Air Maxes, but I used to rock them a lot when I was in my 
early teens. And one of the things that I really liked about Air Maxes is, is that they were supportive and stable and they were a fairly comfortable ride. Now with the way that Virgil has taken this and deconstructed it and given it a little bit of a look, it really, really is a shoe that you could probably rock in all weathers in this black colorway. Now with regards to the Desert Ore, I'm not too sure, but what I can turn around and tell you is that this will fit with pretty much anything that you probably want to fit it with. Overall opinions about this is that some of the materials are a little bit cheap to the feel, but the suede is nice and the overall shoe in total I really do like. I would never say that this shoe is a bad shoe because it genuinely isn't and I am a big fan of this particular Air Max silhouette in the 10 and uh, reason being is I like some of those unfinished elements. Now I think it's time for an on foot. That was it for the off-white Nike Air Max 90 in the black colorway. I hope you enjoyed the review. Again, don't forget to like the channel and subscribe. Don't forget to get involved with the Hex Brand giveaway that ends at midnight, the 18th of February. If you don't get in by now, it's really easy, it's free to do, and you've got a chance to win not just the Hex brand sneaker duffel as the first place prize, there is a Hex brand sling bag that you could win too, and third place is a bottle of liquid proof. I hope you enjoyed the video for this week, and I will see you for another one next week. Take care.